So I went for my job interview and what a horrible experience. Like I've noticed a slight change in job interviews whereas they used to kind of be like a feeler, kind of like they had questions there that they asked you but it was more getting a feel of what kind of person you are and if you're competent and stuff like that and the answers were really kind of irrelevant you know you had to answer them but it's like if you were good for the job you'd get the job whereas now it's like it's just them against you there's this very much yeah it's like like you're their enemy it's like yo i'm just coming here for a job interview you chill the fuck out before i smash your fucking face into the screen of your computer you know what i mean like they've cre- they create this like tension for no reason so and uh, yeah something i've noticed because when i go to these job interviews and stuff i often write oh appointments and stuff i ride my bike and obviously i'm going to be sweating and I'm sure, I think they think I'm nervous because I'm sweating. So they kind of just go for the bully. <laughs> they try and bully you and get a, it's weird. It's very weird. It's like, no, I'm not nervous. I'm a bit sweaty because I've just rode 10 miles. You know what I mean? At top fucking speed and you're a fat bitch. You can't even fucking get out of that chair. It just pisses me off. It really pisses me off. So yeah, I went to this interview. Obviously I'm sweating because I've rode my bike, but oh, she thinks it's nervousness. Um, and she asked me like these questions and I answered them like good <laughs> you know what I mean like there was one that really stuck out was like um, something about like, going above and beyond what you know what in your previous job where you went above and beyond that you didn't have to I couldn't think of anything because when you put on the spot it's like what can you say? You know, fucking hell, you're springing something like that on me, Jesus Christ. Like, I'm supposed to just remember every fucking day of my life in work, you know, for the past 20 years, just off the top of my head. You know, this, this, this see what I mean? These managers and stuff, they go power hungry and they go, become unreasonable. Um, I couldn't think, I went blank, but I said, I was like, that's the thing, I'm honest, man. That's why I'm, my downfall is my honesty. I was like, look, I can't, think of anything off the top of my head you've just sprung it on me I literally said them words I said but you can even when you get a reference from my previous employer you can even ask them I was on time every single shift um, I did the job that was required exactly to the, what the care plan specified I did my job effectively I did my full 12 hour shift every single day and then I went home you know what I mean like Nope. And she's like, no, because that's required of you. I'm like, I'm think, and I thought, well, technically, yeah, but how many people do you know that are always fucking on time? Just start with that. Let's not even go beyond. Always on time. Not many motherfuckers. There's always late people like showing up here and there and everywhere. It's it's like a common thing of the new generation. So the fact that I'm always on time, that is above and beyond, motherfucker. She were a horrible fucking hag, Karen. She was a fucking Karen, I'm telling you. But, look, I'm here to work. I, yeah, that's another thing I even said on that. Is that I'm here to work. <laughs> what more do you want? Like, you, you're putting a job forward. You want this job doing. I'm here to do that job, and I can do that job. And I will do that job, and I'll turn up on time. What more do you need? You're hired. <laughs> you know, it should be. Um, but no, above and beyond, no examples of going above and beyond was... Like, um, oh, you, you're shopping in, in Tesco and you see something that your client may like, so you buy it from It's like, who the fuck does that? <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm sorry, but if you do that, you're just a fucking pillock. I'm sorry. You're crossing the uh, professional boundaries there, aren't you? I'm sorry. You just are. <laughs> Look, I'm there to do a job. I'm, I'm getting paid to do a job and I'm ready to do it. What more do you need from me? You know, and... um. We're going through this, these questions and your head goes blank. They spring stuff on you. It's like, 
just off the top of your head, you're supposed to just remember the weather, you know, Tuesday 17 years ago at 5pm on a Friday. You know, you'd... I don't remember. Oh, you're a bad person because you don't remember. That's what it seems like. And, um... Yeah, so I went through these stupid questions, answered them. And she said, right, if you sit outside, we'll, um, I'm just go, going to go through it and then I'll decide if you got the job or not. I'll let you know. So I sit outside. She comes out like two minutes later. She says, oh, um, come in, come back in. So I'll go in the office and say, yeah, we've decided to, um, you've got the job. You've just scraped through. Like, why the fuck had that little put down at the end? You just scraped through. No, I didn't just scrape through, motherfucker. This job ro- role that they offered, it's in care. 95% of carers are women. Let's just say that. They're looking for a male carer. Right, you've narrowed it down to 5% of, you know, carers. And they're looking for a minimum of year, years experience. So that you're narrowing it down even more. And you need your level 2 in in care, which I've got. You're narrowing it down even more there. Um... And the thing that even put me, like, is the the job role is for com... Um, oh, see, the, my mind goes blank. You see what I'm saying? It's not like I'm... It's not like I'm a bad person because it goes blank. It's just it happens. It's for... Um, oh, it's not complex care. It's like challenging behaviour there. You see, I get it when you just wait a minute. It's um, challenging behaviour... And I've that, for the past year, and my previous job was exactly challenging behaviour. So I've got specifically the job experience she needs, right? So when she's saying I've just scraped through, I'm just think I thought to myself, how many genuine, genuine heroes have you got lined up? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like I'm sorry, I cannot see like a big line outside of male carers only that have got a year experience and got the level two in care and specifically can deal with you know challenging behavior i don't fuck no 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 see what i'm saying but she had to put a little put down because it's her against me you know she's she's the power trip i've noticed every manager in the workplace is now the the power trip is insane like 10 years ago You've you always had like the asshole managers, but a lot of the time, ten years ago I'm talking, is they're an asshole. But if you just said to them straight, look, look, I'm just going to do the job. They're like, huh, fair enough, yeah, because yeah. they just want you to, you know, they want to get the job done, and you get the job done, and they might not thank you, but the the satisfied. Because the job's done. Whereas now, it's like, it's not about getting the job done, it's about bullshitting. Do you know what I mean? It's like getting in the click. Yeah, it's not about doing the job, it's about getting into that click. It's her against me, it's the managers versus me, and I've got to weasel my way into the, you know, the friends, you know, so we're all pally. I don't do that. I'm not interested. I'm seriously not interested in being friends with these people. They're horrible. I just want to smash the fucking faces in. They're horrible people. You know? And and oh, you 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 just want to smash people's faces in. Yeah, I want to I want I hate evil. I'm biometrically opposed to horrible evil people. You know, sorry. You know, sorry for not worshipping evil people like the rest of you. Oh, oh, you're so amazing. Oh, let me suck fumes out your ass because you're fucking so amazing. Oh, 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 manager. Oh, chosen one. Oh, you're so above me. No, you're a horrible person. And I'm, it's like, I'm at an existential crisis. I can't even pronounce the word in my life. It's like, I'm sick of the bullshit. I don't want to bullshit people. You know, if I don't know the answer to your question, I'll say it. I'm sorry, I don't know the answer to your question. <gasps> Luke's a bad person. Oh my God, you're a bad person. You know? Oh. I'm honest. Oh, no. And that was another thing, like, what qualities do you bring to the thing? Like, honesty was one I... Um, I don't know, everything I said just didn't... It just didn't impress her. It's like, there's, this is such a, like specifically on the spot bullshit question which I fucking answered mint 
by the way, somehow, was like, what hobbies do you do in your free time? Look, this is how stupidly specific we were. What hobbies do you do in your free time that gives you skills that you could bring into this specific workplace? I'm like, what the f-? First of all, just take a step back. That's a bit too specific. But I was like, bang, straight on it. I was like, yeah, my free time I do sprinting and I like health and fitness and I could um, motivate the clients to you know get up and be a bit more active. And it's you know what it's all about on the TV about um, getting people fit and active. Fucking not did not impress her. It was kind of like just looked at me, uh, typed it in. Next question, like fucking hell, that was just... yeah, what a horrible bitch, just nasty. But yeah, back to the thing. It's about getting in the click, and you know, uh, I, there's so much in my head just to try and get out. But yeah. If you're in the clique, you're you you're being bitchy, you know, you're and you're not doing your job properly, but you're in the clique, so you get protected. So if you get your head down and want to do work, you just get bullied. Like they will specifically target you. Because you're different from them. They're in the clique, they're strong and powerful. But I'm telling you, this fist is more powerful than all them put together, I'm telling you. It's just um there's just so much fucking evil and it wins Every time it gets firing, you know, it gets pushed um, to the forefront of everything. It's just it wins. It's like it grows stronger. And if you're a good person who just put, just put your head down and work, nope, you, you know, you get outed, you get bullied, you get sacked, you know, you get slandered against, you know, it's them against you, you, you know, um, you get dirty looks, they bitch about you behind your back. These are facts, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is This is... This is reality, you know. I just want to get my head down. I don't care about you. I've got a job to do. You know, I'm qualified for the job. I've got five years' experience in the job. I just want to do my job to my best. Like, I don't know. My, my first job was the, the, the manager was really good, you know. He was this gay guy, and he he... He just expected the best out of you every single day, you know. And the thing that put him ahead of every other manager, from what I've noticed, is, yeah, he expected you to do, you know, give your best, give your all, try your hardest to help the customers. But the thing is, he'd do it as well. There's not one time, not one day, where he'd come in and slacked off. Not once. Um, I was there three and a half years, not one day. And you can ask anyone in that centre. They never saw him slack, ever. So he he kind of like led by example. And it, it did inspire you. It's like, yeah, you have an off day and you're like, I can't be bothered. And you're looking like, yeah, he's having an off day, but he's still freaking smashing out them calls. He's still... And like you, you'd get a call and you'd log into the claim and you can read the notes and you see he's been on it last or been on it recently and you see what he's done. He's like, yeah, he's done exactly what he needed to do <clears throat> you know he didn't skip any steps he's got the information he's put it on there for me to read wow fair fair dues right i'm you know so then i do my best try and help the customer you know if i needed to ring the um insurance i'd bring i'd ring them and sort it out and it'd be sorted you know and there's plenty of times where the other managers who don't even know me just wanted to sack me <clears throat> and he'd have my back because See, I heard about things because you have like um, your team leader and you see my team leader was sound so he kind of like let a, let a bit, you know, a bit of information dribble to me. Just give me I'm just having a drink, one sec. <clears throat> yeah, they, luckily I weren't in that day and they come to sack me. <laughs> it's, fuck, it's, it's funny. And um, basically the, the reason they like because I was in the day after. The reason they backed off was because the centre manager, who was good, basically just showed them the stats. Just, just look at the stats. Look at my calls. Taking all these calls, dealing with all these calls. The stats don't lie. I was like top... There was about 100 people in centre. I was top 20 every single day. Ne- I was never first. I understand that. But top 20 every single day. You know, I'm, I do my job. I'm there to do my job. Am I going above and beyond? 
no, I'm doing what's expected of me, like that fucking bitch Karen was saying. But I kind of am going above and beyond because no one else could fucking hack it. The amount of people who came and went and left because they couldn't hack it. But yeah, th them questions were shit. <laughs> it, it should she should have been feeling me out like what kind of person I am and you know, am I bullshitting? Because they never that this is what I really wanted to get into is interviews favour people who can bullshit. Yeah, I'm good at that, I'm good at this, I'm good at that, I can do that. The fuck is, they're so dumb, they fall for it every time. How many people, well, even personally, like, you go for a job, you don't get the job, and then you later see someone who did get the job who's like a proper scrot, and you're like, what the fuck? That is apparently better than me. That, you know, they preferred to give them the job over me. <laughs> you know what I mean? And no, they just bullshitted. They're a scrot. They just bullshit. I can do this. I got that. I can do this. Yeah, I'm the best at this. I'm brag, brag, brag. And they're like, oh, wow. You know, the managers are all like, wow, I'm bamboozled. Whereas I come in honest, like, do you know what? I've never actually done that specifically. Oh, no, no, he's not fit for the job. But I'm not bullshitting. I can do what I can do. And I can't do what I can't do. And I'm honest about it. And I'm willing to learn. My God, am I willing to learn. But some scrot comes in who's the best at everything. They soon find out he's shit and they have to fire him. They wasted time, money and effort when they could have had me. Doing my fucking job well. Top 20 percent, you know, of workers every single day. Trying my best, doing my best, earning my way. No, they're not interested. They want people who say they're going to go above and beyond. But they actually fucking don't because they're just a scrot. I have to get this off my chest because it's facts. This world is... It's, it's like, honestly, it's the Bible's right. Run by the devil. 100%. You know, evil always wins. Evil always prospers. You know, there's no room for honesty and morals in this world. It, and every time you help someone, it all, you know, no good deed goes unpunished. You know, I wish I, I wish I could just win the lottery and then never speak to anyone ever again. Just have my close friends because I can't be arsed dealing with the, the backstabbing, the slyness and, just, you know what I mean? I can't deal with it anymore. I'm just, I just want to chill, be happy and have my morals and stick with them. And... When you've got morals and you go out into the real world and you try and stick to them, you get fucking trounced. You get absolutely slandered. You know? People turn against you. Because they want they're evil themselves and they wanna they wanna carry on the evil system. And that's what I've noticed. This system, right? I understand a lot of people hate it, me included, and I think it's shit. I think the whole design of it's shit. But this system is actually paradise for about 80% of people. And you think, what? Paradise is, you know, palm trees and, you know, I mean, fruit and, you know, the idea of paradise. This system right now is paradise for 80% of people. Because have you noticed when anyone comes, you know, like a um, member of parliament, prime minister or whatever, with honest intentions and wants to do good, have you noticed people slander them, like the members of the public, oh, no, da, 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 and then the, uh, they get outed and they have to resign. It's like, you fucking idiot, they were ready to fucking do some good. You want this system to be shit. And that's what I've noticed. People, say if there's a new government, they come in, they solve every problem, Nobody had any issues, everyone had plenty of money, food on the table, um, white picket fence, family, everything was going great. It wouldn't last because people need something to mourn about, need something to complain about. And when there's nothing to complain about, they'll fuck things up to make something to complain about, like they're the victim. That's why 80% of people love this system. Because it's shit. It puts them in shit. Oh, so they can brag. It's like, 
the worse their life is, the better they feel because they can go to the mates and brag about how bad their life is. Oh, you ain't got it worse than me, you know. You know, yesterday my dog died and, you know, <clears throat> I lost my job and, I'm, you know, did I can't pay the bills and, oh, I ain't eaten for three days and, oh, poor me. But inside the thing, yeah, I'm bragging, I'm, you know. And then another one comes like, oh, no, you ain't had it worse than me. And this is why it's paradise. And say if all these problems were solved, they'd sabotage it purposely so they can brag about how shit their life is again. They need this. This system is paradise for them. And that's why nothing will ever change. That's why these narcissists get in power. This is why all these managers are arseholes. And you, like, how many good, honest managers do you know now? It's a, it's a dwindling number. You know? It's... I don't... I wish I could come here with some solutions, but I've got nothing. They're just winning. They're going to win. And if you've got morals and you're not willing to bow down to them, you're fucked. They'll, they'll make sure you don't have a job. They'll make sure you lose your house. They'll make sure you're on the street and they'll fucking laugh and spit in your face while you're begging. And then everyone will go around... Because they're up their up their ass and on their in their clique and on their team, they'll brag about how nice of a person they are, whilst they're spitting in your face while you're on the street begging because you had some morals, and you'll be the nasty asshole, and all the news and everything and all the people will say how much of an asshole you are, when all you had was morals, and you stuck by them. Facts, bro. Absolute facts. And. Oh, you can't beat them, join them. That's like my advice, maybe. But I, I, I ain't gonna join them. I don't give a fuck. Put me on the street, I'll just smash your fucking teeth in. Fuck it. I'm done with this system. It's just, it's a shit all. <clears throat> and once your eyes are open and you can see it, it's hard to go back. <clears throat> it's like I purposefully stick with my morals because it pisses people off you know I can't why the fuck would I want to go through my life being like one of them just being another NPC why I can't do it you know I, just, I can't you know why copy everyone else you know that's how people do they go through the whole lives and they're just copying each other it's like you're a fucking nobody, you know, and it's not, I, don't get it wrong, I don't want to be your somebody, you know, I'm just saying, I don't want to be just another programmed fucking NPC, who's got no existence, no personality, nothing, they're just a copy, what's the point of being alive? So, yeah, I've got morals, I'm sticking to them. They said I got the job, but I've emailed them. They wanted like three months of bank statements because they want to have a fucking nosy, I guess. It's so true, isn't it? <clears throat> like, it's, it's to prove my address. No, it's to nosy. It's to really nosy into my finances. Just scumbaggery. I emailed them as requested. No reply off them. But I guess that's to be expected, you know? demon works you know they, they're saying I got the job that's what they do these fucking narcissists that everyone says who are amazing people because they're sucking fumes out their ass they'll build you up say I've got the job and then just ignore me because they've got you know I mean they, they kind of build you up to drop you down because that gives them fun and pleasure but they're really nice people and I'm the horrible one just let's get that out there let's just make that official they're the nice ones I'm the horrible one that's what, that's what people keep telling me And it's not, honestly, it's because they're, they're sucking fumes out their ass. They think that being friends with them gets them ahead in life, but when I'm stomping on your skull and you've got a scared look in your face and you're wishing that I was stopping, no. Then, ah, where's your fucking uh, sucking fumes? How far has that got you now? There's a lot of anger in me because I fucking hate evil. And me hating evil... 
his negative in this world. You know, you've got to love evil. You've got to promote evil. You've got to be one of them. You've got to bring people down. You know, you've got to slander everyone else. You've got to be part of the clique. You know? You've got to tear everyone down. That's seen as good. But you stand up to that now, you're a fucking bad person. Facts. I'm going to stop there because... Yeah. It's just annoying me even thinking about it. It's over. The demons have won. Master Divine. Whatever compelled you here, you have made a grievous mistake. How is that? Just why are you here? You have something I need. Insolent rabble? I'll never part with it. Never! Then we do this the hard way. Nice. You have something insolent. Then we do. 